think, but they do not act. Some others act, they do not think. Father Colin Cherry thought and acted. Give flesh and blood to his vision. Thanks to his inspiration, dedication, commitment, hard work that we have this great institute. It is indeed a great joy for us to celebrate this institute day with him being the chief guest here. I want to once again congratulate him for this great endeavor. Among many other things, he is a very, very important and regular professor at St. Peter's Pontifical Institute. And his contribution is immense to Indian theology, spirituality, and also founder of the Sisters of Sacred Sciences. For all these, Father Colanchari, in the name of St. Peter's, especially for the rector is here, and in my own name, I congratulate you and appreciate you. In this year of mercy, people who are trained here, I wish, are trained to become like Moses in today's first reading. The Lord is telling him, your people have sinned. Moses says, are they not your people? I am going to destroy them, the Lord says. I will take care of you. If you are going to destroy them, delete me also from the book, Moses says. Moses argues with the Lord, Lord, is it reasonable? He said, for all this, you freed the people from slavery and brought them here. What will other people speak of you? Treacherously, he led them through the Red Sea and then brought them to the desert to kill them. What about the promises you made to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob? The Lord repented. Those who are trained in IAS, I wish, are really coming forth like Moses, pleading for mercy for their brothers and sisters, parents, well-wishers. Today, the world is in need of mercy. Not that the Lord was not merciful. When a person who has been called verbalizes this petition, God's heart melts. We all can do something. From your words, we know your thought. Only from your actions, we know your belief. All people are very busy, but only the priorities have to be set right. Those who want to do something, they don't have an excuse. Those who don't want to do anything, they will always have an excuse. Father Kolanchari, again, uh, to go back, if he had not spoken, if he had not done anything, nobody would have criticized. If you don't want to be criticized, say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. Criticism will come, undeterred by other people's comments being rooted in the word of God, nourished by the Eucharist, strengthened by the intercession of Mother Mary. Let us walk the path of our discipleship in all earnestness. Let us not be satisfied with mediocrity. There is infinite potential in each and every one of us. May we reach out in mercy the suffering humanity all the best for IAS. Thank you.